So here in this video, we are going to discuss how we can deploy an applications that is web based applications using your Azure. So as you are a developer or you are building your own applications, you know, it is very difficult to manage your applications, to build your applications and trigger it regularly on the builds you have created, then serve it on the server on that is your application server and deploy to the user. And then again, we need to be concerned about the platform the user is using. Either he is using an Android, either he is using a Mac or Windows particular platform. If they are using different platforms, we have to also be concerned about the platform the user is using and your application should be compatible to it. In spite of what you can do, you can create your web based application where it can, you know, accessible through your any of your devices, either it is your Mac either it is your Android or either it is your Windows. So as we know, all have the browser and this web-based application can be opened anywhere. So here we are going to see how we can create your web-based application and how we can deploy them. So here I'll be creating one Android application, which I'm going to deploy on web. And then we are going to have a look how we can get access to this particular applications over your Android phones or other particular mediums. So get access to it through your portal. So for creating web application, we will again search for our web application here. So you generally have the application services or you can directly search it from here. You can see here in left hand panel, I got this application service. You can click on it and go for adding an application service. So here you're going to add a new application. So it is asking you which application do you want to add like you want to search for your web application plus mobile application you can search for it right now i want my web applications to be created i'll select my web application i'll create it and here i'll define the name of my web application so it is my first web app i'm going to define web app one it is on trial basis if you want to create a new resource group for it, you can. So I'm just going to create a new resource group for application. So application group. Okay. And the OS, which will be, uh, I'll be using for this particular application. You need to select it will be on Linux or it will be on Windows operating system. So as of now, I'm using Windows operating system. And what is the location of your application you want to keep and uh, which, where will be the container? So you can create your own location or you can use the existing one. I'm using the existing one here and uh, web app name is not available. Okay, so I'll define something like application one. Is it okay? No. Web application is not available. W app one. Okay, so it is web application for cloud and uh, application inside. I'm going to keep it on. So it will be inside your East US or if you want to change the location, you can. So this is only the regions where generally uh, this creating this web application is allowed. So I'm just going to keep the East US itself and then I'm going to create the same. So it's validating your entries, your applications, and it's deploying your application now. So you can find this is getting created. So once it is deployed, you will be able to see this applications created into your application screen. So we'll wait for a while and it's getting deployed. So this application which you are going to create is listed over there as well as it's going to store in your application group. So you can find here it is an application group which you have now. Same way you have your resource group into resource group you have application group here. And this is the application web application for cloud is created and this is your um, space or this is service plan we generally have it for your application. I'll move into your web application for cloud, which we have recently created here. And uh, here you can find you have created this particular application. You have an activity log for this particular application. You can create an application mapping here. So you can map your applications. 
this is for investigation purpose generally you have right so this is how your application is monitoring whether it is tested what is the ability what is the client web application what's the load what's the performance and failure telemetry every report you will get over here and you can see the warning threshold it is showing you uh, if you get the symbol this kind of like you know which is an error mark that means it is less than um, or sorry it is greater than five percent and if it is more than 20 percent failed so you will get uh, this kind of mark so uh, warning threshold will be like if it is green then your applications are working fine so this is generally how we uh, create your applications uh, into your system here and you can find the number of users you can define the users who can use this applications you can also check who you, who are using this particular application so you can get started with the behaviors of the users who are accessing which part of your applications here same way you can get into the properties of your uh, applications you can check what exactly the um, you know resource group name and what is the subscription name we have what is the subscription id we have for it and what is the instrumentation key for it and the type of application is your ASP.NET application as of now we have created here so uh, again you can provide an API access for this particular application so we can create an API access so you can create your own application key here what you want to read this particular telemetry and you can generate the key for it you can provide this key to the user who to whom you want to get access to this particular applications so this is how generally you create your web application so it's very easy to create your web application over here you can also check from your browser um, through which your applications are accessed you can filter the browser you can change it check the traffic over here you can check the traffic page and also you can check for your activity logs and overview of this particular application so this is how generally you create your application you can analyze your applications you can check for the metric you have you can also go for um, renaming this particular application from here so this is what exactly you have this is how generally you create your applications this is we have seen into your resource group same way we will find the same information into your applications this is your application crowd we have created here you get the same information here right so um, now if I want to access this particular application how we are going to access it so this is the URL you can copy this URL here paste it here and you will be finding this particular application open into this system so right now we haven't created anything but you can see your application service app has been created and this particular application will run right so this is the application which you have created here so we need to deploy anything so we can deploy on this web application for cloud.azurewebsite.net same way we also have the FTP site over here so this is the FTP host name we have we can get access to our um, application just I'll copy this and you will paste it over here this is a production environment generally we got created your FTP host name this is the FTP host we have created for your application so you can get access to this particular application once you have the user ID and password for this so this is the lesson how generally you can create your modern based application you can deep dive into your Azure services and create your own applications this is a window which shows you here I'm going to get access to this um, connection here so for that already have created a key into your authorization and authentication already we have seen uh, we have defined some settings here and we have created a key into your application web resources we can download and use those particular key I haven't copied that so you can access those uh, applications if you have created and if you have uploaded on your FTP you will be able to get access to your applications so this is how generally we create your application we can test the application into your production if you have created it same way you can add the slots to your applications as well as you can see you can clone your application here so you can clone and upgrade this particular service for cloning it so uh, we need to do that and then we can also get directly a console to program your application to send commands to your applications we also get advanced tools 
where you can you know create your developer oriented tools use it and create your service applications you also have the application editor over here you can directly go and edit your application which you have created and uh, once you have done you can check for the performance test as well and these are the quotas which we can define for our application so here we can see this is the file system if you want to define any uh, detailed quota and you want to limit your applications you can so this is what exactly we have change application service plan so we can also change the service plan of the application right now I'm going to use the default one I haven't created any service plan as of now and you can see this is the properties we generally have you can you know, connect your MySQL in application so directly whatever the data you generally store here will be collected into your MySQL and this database will be created as MySQL this is the location where you will store your local database and into your SQL storage you will be getting into your D drive home data SQL so this will be the location where your data of your application will be stored and uh, you can scale this web applications here so you can create your scale plan so you can scale your server to you know the huge amount of uh, the configuration what you have so you can upgrade the configuration of your system so that you can run 10 instances at a time to your s2 so depending upon like you know which kind of uh, which kind of performance do you have you can upgrade your uh, complete applications here same way moving back to your web cloud applications you can back up your applications you can create your custom domains for it so you can create your own IP address this is the IP address on which this web application is accessible and your HTTPS only if you want you can define or you can host this application onto this particular HTTPS only so this is the custom host we have to connect this particular applications we can also define the continuous delivery uh, as if you are a developer you may be knowing like whenever you are creating an application and when you are changing something so if automatically uh, auto, whatever the things you are adding to this particular application should be provided along with the company you know your com application is running so here you can see this is the code this is the build this is the test and this is a deploy so this should not stop anywhere right so what will happen you will uh, build a patch of code this code will be built and this will be tested first and same way all the builds will be tested and then it will be deployed correct so this particular continuous um, you can say deployment should be done there should not be any breakdown any of any of your deployment you should not any get any kind of error or you should not get in stuck in between so that's the reason you can also define the deployment it is a continuous deployment so which will do that like your codes are done you have created a build and it will test it and then if any of your errors are happening so this particular error will be directly provided to your developer then you can again rebuild this particular code and you can also provide the automatic triggering over here if you're using your uh, continuous delivery options same way you have a deployment option how you are going to deploy your application you can uh, define the source from where you are getting this application as of now see we haven't created the application we have created an application where we require to put the build of the application so from where you are going to get the uh, you know uh, application so you can get through your github repository or git repository from wherever generally you have the code so for example I have something on my github and I want this particular github repository uh, on whatever this generally program I have stored on this particular repository it should be you know moved to this so I can get access to your github so this is my github repository and I'll just copy or clone this particular uh, java code which I have written over here I'll copy this and I'm going to choose the github requirement settings I'll do I'll authorize this particular uh, Azure to get access to the applications which I'm using into your public or private repository so I'm going to authorize the user okay we have completed with the authorization this is a authorized user this is the project we generally have we have a lot of project here I'm going to use my hello Java project so I have I have logged in over here it's not asking me for a username and password automatically it fetched everything performance test I require um, so it is fetching every each and every detail over here you can see the web application location is in central US 
which we have created once you have fetched the data you click ok and click ok over here you can see it is showing you setting up deployment source so whenever I want to you know update this particular application I'll be updating it on my github this particular repository if I push anything over here and uh, uh, I commit the changes so this particular changes will be automatically done on this particular web application cloud so we can define this you can also define the deployment credentials here so like if suppose you have FTP uh, username or server so you can even define the credentials for your FTP which we have created okay so this is your cloud application this is how generally we have deployed this application 